do you remember the first time you ever cried at work? Yeah, I think mine was in a cool room. I remember. Th- I remember exactly the first time. So I think that's why this like. Um, I've cried in cool rooms all the time. Yeah. If I had to walk in cool room, I'd probably still cry on it. Yeah, I, I mentioned it before that the the guy with the jeep, the jacked up jeep, in the cafe when I was eighteen years old. But I reckon even before that. I reckon even before that. So I started in kitchens when I was 15. Right. Less, 14 even. I did a bakery as like some work experience thing. I rollerbladed to a bakery. It's crying. But I was, I would have been 15 and 16 (laughs) and rollerblade home. Yeah. (laughs) Fuck. But I didn't cry when I was 14. Right. But um, 15 and 16, I worked as a dish pig. And that's when I like, did 300 quails in a day, bone 300 quails in a day. Yes. And I'm pretty sure Yuck. when he yelled at me, yeah, the head chef one time, I I cried. Yeah. Did you cry right in front of him or did you just well up and take it somewhere else? I welled up and I think, it's a fucking long, I think I welled up and I went out the back door and I fucking swallowed hard. Just fucking let loose. Ugh, I just... <laughs> Held it, but it was definitely. Or are you talking a full on sob story? Um, I don't think I've ever cried like that. Mm. I've definitely cried, but it's like silent. I I I remember hundred percent remember the first time I cried. Yeah. Um, I did, f- I did a brekkie on a Saturday by myself, and I absolutely shat the bed, and I needed two people to pull me out of it, and they were not the piece. They were like head chef, sous chef pulling me out of it, and I lost were I just lost I was too young for uh, at the time I was too sort of green for what was happening and I didn't realize um I should have asked for help way before and the person that was helping me you know could have come and just got you know help for the little bit of the tickets and then I'll be good I didn't realize any of that and I, I just got so deep and it was mm. just like the, the the wall of dockers I just kept pulling them up mm. and not wanting to ask for help and then I got bollocked even more. And then obviously the pros that's coming and pull me out of it. Um, I didn't cry then. I just felt like I was going to cry. And then the next day I was like, okay, I got this. You can't do that again. Yeah. And then it fucking went to shit. But for different re- different reasons. Like they, f- they kept fucking up. But I couldn't blame them after the day I had before. <laughs> so it was like, can I have some help? And they're like, fuck this guy. I was already on the list of like, he can't do this. But I knew I could. Um, so I got help. Mind you, doing breakfast by yourself. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When it's like a fucking first year, mm. um, and then um, uh, the head chef came over after I'd fully packed up, and he goes, um, uh, he goes, I don't know which day was worse, bro. I don't know what to do with you. I don't know. And he was just like, I just don't know. Like he was like, they kind of went out all right. Like who, I don't know who taught you to do this. He was just like, he wasn't bollocking me. He was just like. Like your dad Dazed. being disappointed at yeah. you. And I was like, no worries. And then yeah, I went around the corner and I just squatted down. And I was just like, I just like, just like, wasn't like sobbing, but it was just like, I couldn't keep the tears anymore out of dripping down. Mm. And he, he would definitely be able to see me. Like, I was just like welling up. Like, fuck. I th- actually thought I did okay. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, oh, wow. Was that just as bad? Yeah. And then um, after that, by the way, I absolutely nailed everything. I was like the best. Yeah, you it. need those thi- Like a real chef needs those things. Yeah. Well. But I, just, I remember just coming around the corner and just squatting down. And mm. it was a fully open kitchen. So there was nowhere to hide. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, this is just, just so shit. You couldn't go out the back. It was a long walk to the back. Uh. <laughs> so you're just crying. And then some bitch came up to me in the front of the house. Some bitch came up to me and she's like, uh, do you have the sandwiches? Because on the bottom of the menu on one side, you didn't sell many, but you had to have like, sandwiches of the day but you didn't really sell them and so she was after all that she's like do you have the sandwiches of the day list and i was like the fuck mm. like okay you know then you're back to work <laughs> like, oh yeah. no and i was just, i don't know what i had i couldn't remember my brain was like completely empty yeah yeah so i was yeah. just like ham and then she realized <laughs> she realized i had no she realized how that i was just like completely spazzed out Completely dry, oh, yeah. and she goes, "Do you have a list from yesterday?" And I was like, 
like yesterday was a shit show. Yeah. And she goes, we'll just do the same from yesterday and hope. <laughs> I was like, wicked. That's better than I had. Yeah. No, I have vague memories of this well up situation, getting yelled at for the first time, first proper time yeah. as a young kid yeah. from the head chef that I kind of admired and I was in the kitchen for the first time yeah. and having to duck out the back door and, and swallow hard. But the one that reminds me of no crying in the cool room and kind of like this whole concept was my first apprenticeship, 18 years old. Yeah. I actually wasn't an apprentice, but I was doing an apprenticeship yeah. <laughs> technicality. And I went into the cool room and I fucking started crying and I was shuffling. Yeah, that's what you do. Anything in there. Yeah. And I was just crying. Yeah. <laughs> and the fucking Jeep dude must have come in and then it just snapped me out of it because he was any weakness yeah he was trying to put his finger in your asshole and be a complete cunt so i just snapped out and just got my thing whatever it was picked anything up and i got out of there so that is funny because now i remember why i squatted down number one i'm not going to cry in front of a whole restaurant and number two um the baker would put all the new bread under the bench across to cool down so I was technically like counting it for what I needed the next day. So I must have been counting the same three loaves. You know what I mean? Oh no! <laughs> so I'm so I'm squatting down, just fucking sobbing, and just yeah. And then she's come along and going three, four. And she's like yeah. sandwiches. I'm like, man. Do you know what I just remembered? You uh, felt, dude. You feel so small, hey. Oh, horrific. Yeah. 